Hi there, I'm John McAdams, founder of the Big Game Hunting blog. And in this video, I'm going to do a detailed comparison of the 270 Winchester and 30-06 Springfield cartridges. Now, most hunters and shooters probably agree that the 270 and the 30-06 are both very versatile and effective big game hunting cartridges. After all, there is a reason why they are consistently among the two most popular centerfire rifle cartridges used by hunters in the United States. Now, while there is an overlap in their capabilities, the two cartridges are best suited to different tasks and represent two different ways of thinking. This is part of the reason why each cartridge has such a dedicated and loyal following and why the 270 vs. 30-06 debate continues to rage on after so many years. So in this video, I'm going to discuss the merits of the 270 vs. the 30-06 and I'll provide some insight into which cartridge you should be using in various situations. The U.S. Army designed the 30-06 Springfield for use in the bolt-action 1903 Springfield rifle in 1906 as an improvement on the 30-03 Springfield cartridge. The Army was just coming off the heels of a sobering lesson regarding the effectiveness of the new 7mm Mauser cartridge in the hands of Spanish troops in Cuba in 1898 and wanted a cartridge and rifle that could compete with the revolutionary new Mauser. Using smokeless powder and a new 150 grain pointed bullet fired at a muzzle velocity of 2,700 feet per second, the 30 6 Springfield was a significant improvement over previous cartridges the military used during that era, like the 3040 Krag and the 4570 Government. It didn't take long for the 30 6 Springfield cartridge to catch on with the hunting and shooting communities, and it was soon an extremely popular cartridge in the United States and in North America as a whole. As good as the 30 6 Springfield was, not everyone was completely satisfied with it, and Wildcatters quickly started modifying the cartridge for more specialized tasks. Around the same time gun designers were necking the 30 6 up to develop the 35 Whalen cartridge, engineers at Winchester decided to go the opposite route and neck down the 30 6 well, specifically the old 30 3 case, which the 30 6 is descended from, to use .277 caliber instead of .308 caliber bullets. The resulting 270 Winchester cartridge was formally released in 1925 for the Winchester Model 54 rifle. The original 270 load shot a 130 grain bullet at a blazing fast velocity, for 1925 anyway, of 3,140 feet per second. Though the 270 Winchester was not an immediate success, American hunters appreciated the flat shooting characteristics of the round and the fact that it was so effective on thin skinned game. The cartridge gradually became more and more popular, which was helped by Jack O'Connor and his famous affinity for the cartridge that he expressed in countless Outdoor Life articles over the years. Now that's not to say the cartridge only became incredibly popular because of O'Connor. Now while he did indeed love the 270 and used it extensively on hunts all over the world, it was far from the only cartridge he used. The 270 was also a good enough cartridge and filled a big enough niche that it probably would have been successful even without any help from Jack O'Connor. Now the 270 Winchester is something of an oddity when it comes to bullet diameter though. Unlike all the other popular 7mm cartridges like the 7mm Mauser, the 7mm 08, the 7mm Remington Magnum, and the 280 Remington that use 284 caliber bullets, the 270 uses 277 caliber bullets. It's unclear exactly why Winchester decided to go with 277 instead of 284 caliber bullets with the 270. One theory is that they chose that particular bullet size based on an obscure 6.8 by 57 millimeter Chinese Mauser cartridge. It's also possible they wanted to create a distinctly American bullet size and avoid the 6.5 and 7 millimeter bullets popular in Europe by using a brand new bullet diameter 10% smaller than the one used in the 30-06. So 0.9 multiplied by 308 is 277. Regardless of their reasons, the design team at Winchester went with a 277 caliber bullet diameter, and the rest is history. Interestingly enough, while the 270 turned out to be a smashing commercial success for the company, 277 caliber bullets really never caught on elsewhere. The 270 Winchester Short Magnum and the 270 Weatherby Magnum are the only two mass produced cartridges that use bullets of that size. Not surprisingly, the 270 and the 30 6 cartridges look very similar to each other. The 270 does have a slightly longer case length, but the two cartridges are identical up to the shoulder and have the same maximum overall length of 3.34 inches. For this reason, both cartridges are used in long action rifles. Now, since the 270 uses a neck down 30 3 Springfield case, which the 30 6 is also descended from, both cartridges also have the exact same case diameter and virtually the same case capacity. 
In short, aside from the fact that the 270 shoots .277 caliber instead of .308 caliber bullets, and the fact that the 270 has a tiny bit longer case length, the two cartridges are virtually identical. However, those small changes make a big difference when it comes to ballistic performance. The .30-06 is certainly no slouch in terms of velocity or trajectory, but the 270 has a clear advantage in both of those areas. By necking down the .30-06 case to shoot smaller diameter bullets, the designers of the 270 were successful in building a cartridge with a higher velocity, flatter trajectory, and less recoil than the .30-06. This is because, when compared to the .30-06, the smaller diameter 270 Winchester shoots lighter weight bullets. For instance, the vast majority of 270 Winchester factory loads shoot bullets in the 120 to 150 grain range. Of these, 130 grain and 150 grain bullets are by far the most common. On the other hand, though it is possible to find .30-06 ammo using bullets weighing as little as 110 grains, most 30 6 Springfield factory loads use heavier weight bullets in the 150 to 180 grain range. There is a significant difference in the bullet trajectories between the two cartridges. When comparing typical factory hunting loads, the 30 6 bullets usually have as much or slightly more energy remaining at 500 yards, but the 270 bullets will still hit around 4 to 8 inches higher at that same range. Not only does the 270 have a noticeably flatter trajectory, but most factory 270 loads will have about 20 to 30% less free recoil energy than typical 30 6 loads. It's tough to pick a winner when it comes to accuracy of the 270 versus the 30 6 because it's something of an apples to oranges comparison. Most people agree that both cartridges are capable of excellent accuracy, but the 270 Winchester is used almost exclusively as a hunting cartridge, while match shooters, military and police snipers, and hunters have all used the 30 6 extensively over the years. For those reasons, the big ammo companies have invested a tremendous amount of time and resources in developing a really big selection of high BC match grade 308 caliber hunting bullets that are available for use in the 30 6 On the other hand, since the 270 has almost exclusively been used as a hunting cartridge, the major bullet manufacturers have not invested nearly as much time developing heavy for caliber high BC 277 caliber bullets. Now that's not to say the 270 Winchester isn't an accurate cartridge. It most certainly is, but it just doesn't have the same pedigree as the 30 6 in that regard, and for that reason, there are very few choices available for 270 match ammo. Now, all that being said, both cartridges have the potential for excellent accuracy in the right hands and will absolutely do the job at reasonable hunting ranges. Now let's talk about ammo and rifle selection. The 270 and the 30 6 are two of the most popular cartridges for hunters in the United States. For that reason, virtually every ammunition manufacturer of note, like Barnes, Browning, Federal, Hornady, Nosler, Remington, Swift, Weatherby, and Winchester, just to name a few, produce a wide variety of good quality ammo and various bullet weights for both cartridges. So regardless of whether you want lighter or heavier bullets for either cartridge, you should be able to find what you're looking for. Just about every major style of bullet is available in those cartridges as well, like the Barnes TTSX, the Hornady GMX, Interbon, and SST, the Nosler Acubond and Partition, the Remington Corlock, the Swiss Sirocco and A-Frame, and the Winchester PowerPoint. Prices and availability vary from region to region, but ammunition for both cartridges is widely available. In fact, if a sporting goods store only carried ammo for two different centerfire rifle cartridges, I'd bet money they'd have 270 and 30 6 ammo. Prices for both cartridges are about the same as well. If you're into hand loading, then you're also in luck because reloading components for both cartridges are widely available. There are lots of good quality 277 and 308 caliber bullets to choose from, so you shouldn't have much trouble working up a custom load that shoots very accurately in your rifle. Now since they're both such popular cartridges, there are also lots of rifles to choose from, and virtually every firearms manufacturer produces rifles chambered in both 270 and 30 6 Additionally, because the cartridges are the same length and have the same rim diameter, rifles of the same model chambered in each cartridge are virtually identical to each other. Among others, the Browning X-Bolt, the CZ-550, Mossberg Patriot, Remington Model 700, Ruger American and M77 Hawkeye, the Savage 111, the Thompson Center Compass, the Tika T3X, the Weatherby Mark V and Vanguard, and of course, the Winchester Model 70 are all available in 270 and 30 6 As anyone who has read a few of his articles in Outdoor Life would know, Jack O'Connor's favorite rifle was a Winchester Model 70 chambered in 270 Winchester. 
Even though the Model 70s have been chambered in many other cartridges, including 30 6 and even though many other rifles are available in 270 Winchester, the Model 70 and the 270 Winchester remain forever linked in the minds of many hunters due to O'Connor's work. By the way, if you want to see it for yourself, O'Connor's Model 70 is currently on display at the Jack O'Connor Museum in Lewiston, Idaho. He first purchased that particular rifle in 1959 and used it on hunts all over the world for a wide variety of game. He took his last stone sheep with that rifle in 1973. So, which one is right for you? When using the right bullets and with good shot placement, both cartridges are excellent for hunting medium to large size game. Indeed, both the 270 Winchester and the 30 6 Springfield are great choices if you're looking for a really versatile cartridge. They're both extremely effective and popular deer hunting cartridges. Indeed, whitetail deer probably make up well over half the game harvested by those two cartridges each year. The 270 and the 30 6 also work very well for feral hogs and black bear hunting. The same goes for exotic game like Sika, Axis, and Fallow Deer. However, this is where the strengths and weaknesses of each cartridge start to diverge. The flat trajectory of the 270 makes it great for animals that are more likely to require longer shots like mule deer or pronghorn. By the same token, the fact that the 270 also has a relatively mild recoil also makes it a great cartridge for mountain hunts where a lightweight rifle is really desirable. After all, there's a reason why Jack O'Connor liked his 270 so much for hunting sheep and why it's still such an effective cartridge for mountain goat and bighorn sheep hunting. On the other hand, since it shoots a heavier and larger diameter bullet, the 30 6 Springfield has a clear advantage when hunting larger species like caribou, elk, and moose. When using a 180 grain bullet, the 30 6 also has a big advantage when hunting most species of African plains game. Now that doesn't mean you can't hunt elk, moose, or plains game with a 270. After all, many hunters have killed untold numbers of those animals with the 270 over the years. If anything, the 270 is even more effective on really large game, elk hunting in particular, now than it was even 20 years ago because hunters now have access to much better quality bullets. For example, a friend of mine has used his 270 with great success on caribou, moose, and kudu. Heck, he even cleanly took a blue wildebeest, which is a notoriously tough animal, with that same 270. Now, bullet selection is very important, though, and he used 150 grain nozzle partitions on the kudu and the blue wildebeest. Additionally, there is a little bit less room for error with shot placement when the 270 on really big game, but it can still be an extremely effective cartridge if the hunter is up to the task. There's also nothing saying the 30 6 isn't suitable for long-range shots or that it can't also be a great rifle for a mountain hunt. Like I said earlier, they're both quite versatile, but it's just that each cartridge is just a better choice for certain applications. So do you primarily hunt deer, hogs, or bear in an area where long-distance shots past 200 yards are uncommon and bullet drop isn't really a concern for you? Both cartridges will work just fine under these circumstances, and there isn't much difference between them inside 300 yards. Now, are you sensitive to recoil? Or maybe you do a lot of mountain or backcountry hunts where it's really nice to have a lightweight rifle. Consider going with the 270, which has a lighter recoil that's more manageable in a small, lightweight rifle. With good shot placement and quality ammo, the 270 is a wonderful choice for mountain goat, sheep, or, t or tar hunting. Do you want to hunt larger game like elk, moose, red stag, and elon? Both cartridges will work, but the 30 6 offers a clear advantage since it can use heavier 180 grain bullets that are much better suited for extremely large and or tough animals. I personally would lean towards the 30 6 in this case, but that's just me, and there's not a darn thing wrong with using the 270 either as long as you're aware of its limitations. As I've stated before, the 270 and the 30 6 are both great rifle cartridges. While each one may be better suited to specific situations than the other, they are both very solid performers overall. The difference between them is not as great as some people think, and the animal will never know the difference if your shot is placed in the right spot. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Just click that red subscribe button below to make sure you don't miss out on any of my new videos about hunting gear reviews, cartridge comparisons, and more. For more detailed information on the 270 and the 30 6 and how they compare to other popular hunting cartridges, click on the link in the description below or go to huntingguns101.com to get a free ebook I have written on the best hunting calibers. Now I'm going to turn it over to you guys. Which cartridge do you prefer, the 270 or the 30 6 What game have you successfully taken with each one? Let me know by leaving a comment on this video right now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and good hunting.